Hey, I got another new light from WowTac. They sent this to me uh, probably about a week ago. This is uh, another version of their Black Survival Scout flashlight. You'll see once I get it opened up just exactly what it consists of. We're gonna make her quick because I just want to pretty much do some beam shots on this thing. Basically cover the specs, give you an idea. But, but before we do get started, I've been blessed with the ability to be able to review every flashlight from WowTac. And as I stated on the other ones, for those of you who know Thrunite, they are technically supported by Thrunite. Very close resemblance to Thrunite flashlights. Pretty awesome. Now this specific light, we're going to be covering that in a second, is going to come with what you see here. Get this stupid thing open. This here is a very high quality optical glass red lens as you can see there gives a real good red wavelength of light output that you screw on the end of the thing really like that spare o-rings and of course which i took off the clip and your typical wow tech Micro USB charger for the battery itself. And here's the light. They're starting to make them smaller. Really like that. This thing is quite a bit smaller than its predecessor. And you got this strike bezel on. I swear, one of these times I might sharpen this thing up with a file and just see what damage it could do. Stab that thing into something. You're going to really uh, cut something up. And this is called the... The BSS V3. Like I said, you can unscrew the strike bezel, screw on your red filter, and away you go. Let's leave that off for now. Let's hit up the technical specs on this thing. You're running the Cree XBL V6 emitter in smooth reflector, 2.7 to 4.2 volts. I skip all that other stuff. You have basically three molds and then strobe. Low mold, 22 lumens, and their batteries, I'm telling you right now, as I've stated in the past, these things hold a great charge and they do a real good job. And I got that micro USB charging port on, just like the other ones, with a red light up on top that turns green once it's charged. And I might have accidentally took one apart just to see and the circuitry is all right here and you basically got a real nice Panasonic I don't know if this is a high drain or not but this is a Panasonic battery can't go wrong there that is why they do so good could be wrong but I'm quite sure it's Panasonic Back to the specs, medium, 208 lumens, 8 hours, high, 1,050 for 2.7 hours. And then you got your strobe. Now it's rated at 220 meters of throw, and I've already taken out and shined it, and haven't measured it yet, but it sure seems like it goes farther than that, which I really like. And the typical 1 meter drop and IPX7, and they do have a good warranty. If you're not familiar with these lights, they used to be A tactical, now they're Wow Tac, but it's the same good light. If you look here, this is way different than a typical light. On the back side of it, you have your clicky and then your tail switch. Now, this I haven't really tried. That doesn't come apart. I suppose it could if you. Yeah, it should come apart. Sure, if you put enough leverage on it, you get it apart. But throwing the battery in, it's going to screw together from the front side. That's low. But you got your rear clicky on and off. Let's set that over there. And it goes directly too high when you shut it off. And turn it on and you have an instant strobe by pressing this back button as you see there now putting it down to low what I found kind of at first was weird about this light that 
I didn't know if I liked it or not with that side switch versus up here in the back. If you're holding it like this, it's hard to, a little bit harder to hit that clicky, you know, to go through the modes. But what they got it designed for is when you're holding it like up shoulder length, it's a lot easier to click it with your thumb, the high to low. So for being a survival flashlight, I guess that's a good option. We ain't gonna go through the modes in here. We're gonna do that outside with some good beam shots. But I wanna do is compare it to the other version, the previous version, which was the, I do believe the A, the V2, a1s and this is the original black survivor scout if you look here they shortened her up quite a bit supposedly does punch out more so with that said i think i pretty much covered everything i want with a light so we're gonna head out and we're gonna get some uh, good beam shots done of it and see how this guy does how about that let's go all right i got my lux four meters away we're going to go ahead and turn this bow tack on, see what the lux is, and calculate the throw, see how close it is at 220 meters. There we are on 1150 lumens, I do believe, or 1050. Let's check her out. Ah, look at that. 48,000 lux, here's the formula, was 759 lux times 16 divided by 0.25 equals 48,576. Square root of that, 220.399. Come on, WowTac, you're off 0.399. That's the closest I've ever been with my lux meter. Well, that's pretty cool. Well, I'll do some beam shots. All right, we're going to start it out with, I'm going to shine the uh, BSS A1S V2, the predecessor to the, the new V3. And we're going to be shining at a tree at 62 meters away. And there's the original first gen BSS. I'm sure I got that on turbo. Right there's turbo, 62 meters. And there's the new one. Quite a bit brighter. And as you've seen, smaller. Pretty neat. That's 62 meters away. No problem with that. Look at that. Now we're going to run down to 94 meters. Here's the A1S V2, the original, on turbo. That's 94 meters. This is the original BSS. There's the updated. 94 meters, no problem. And we're going to swing around here. See them trees way right in between these two? That one's 140. Way back there's 190. So you get an idea. And there's a hillside. Well over 200 meters right there. I'd say that's the limit of this light. 220 or so meters. And it's doing it. That's 220 meters away with the updated BSS. This thing is a small cannon. Now, one thing I want to do is I'm going to throw that red light on quick. Okay, red light's on. And you can see that tree at a little over 100, 100 meters away. Pretty easy. There's the 94-meter tree. 62 meters. Of course, red, you can't see with your, your eye too well, but neither can animals. So I would say... Be honest with you, between 64 and 90, right there is probably, I'd say about, yeah, I'm going to go with about 70 meters max on this red light. That's pretty neat. And that's a true red. Gives a great wavelength into the red. All right, I got my truck headlights on high beam. And here comes the WowTac comparing them. It just completely drowns out truck headlights. No problem. You got it focused for closer. Look at that. WowTac, truck headlights. WowTac, truck headlights. And them lights aren't dim. 
either. Let's do a little bit closer. This wow tack, I'm going to run through the modes quick. Right there is low mode. That tree is about 25 meters out. And this thing, run time is incredible on this light, even in low mode. There's medium mode. I do believe, yeah, low mode, high mode, and medium mode. What's that? Oh, cat way up there. But, kind of fruitless to show you how close it is on the bright mode, but it does a good job. Medium and low. Well, there you go. Wowtex V3 BSS. Black Scout Survival. He did it again. I really like these uh, Wowtec flashlights. More compact, brighter, farther throw. Quite simple. None of this fumbling around, buzzing through the modes. Turn it on, you're instantly on high. You hit one press on the side switch, and you got strobe. Real quick to drop it down to low mode. Can't really go wrong with this thing. Did it again, Wowtec. Putting out a pretty awesome light. Can't wait till they uh, decide to make one heck of a thrower. I'll be curious. So there you go, the Wowtec. Check that link out down below for this company and this flashlight. Till the next time.